everyone and welcome to Meals in the Making. Today on the show, we're going to be talking about cold weather because finally on October 15th, Texas is going to be getting 50 degree weather. cooler weather. God, I'm a little out of breath from that dance session. Um, we are going to be making roast, which is a roast recipe that my mom made when I was growing up. So I've kind of programmified it and made it program approved. And it was one of my favorite meals growing up. Super tender, juicy roast. I've made a roast before. This is a little different. So if you made that roast, great. This one's going to be a little different. And then, um, so I'm not jipping you. I'm not like giving you the same recipe twice. The next recipe is another one of Sandy's Kitchen Adventures recipes. She came out with another must-make recipe called crock pot beef taco soup. So anything that has to do with soup for the cold weather and tacos, because we live in Texas, we're definitely making. So Sandy, thank you so much for doing that. Um, I, again, I will list all of her stuff down below, her website, the specific recipe. If you are new to Optavia, I post once a week, two recipes. She has tons of amazing recipes and she's got all the measurements down in her description. So you've got to check her out. Even if you've been on Optavia for a year, you've got to check out all of her amazing recipes. Anyway, so let me show you what's needed for these recipes and we will get started on today's series. For Sandy's Kitchen Adventures crock pot beef taco soup, you will need two pounds of 95 to 97% lean ground beef, five ounces of reduced fat cream cheese, three fourths a cup of low fat plain Greek yogurt, two 10 ounce cans of Rotel, one tablespoon of low sodium taco seasoning, two teaspoons of Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning mix, four cups of low sodium chicken broth, five tablespoons of fresh cilantro chopped. This is for garnishing later on. You do not have to put this on if you don't want to. Personally, I'm one of those really weird people who doesn't like the taste of cilantro because it tastes like soap to me. But Robbie and both of his parents, who will be eating this throughout the week, um, they do like it. So they can use it for garnishing, which is great. And half a cup of reduced fat cheddar cheese. They had it at my HEB this time, so that's wonderful. Okay, so let's see how you make it. Okay, so the first thing that I'm doing is I am browning up my two pounds of meat. I had to defrost it first. Um, so I'm browning up my two pounds of meat. Now while I'm doing that, I am going to add my five ounces of cream cheese, which after I looked it up, I realized that one tablespoon equals half an ounce. So I'm gonna need 10 tablespoons worth of this. Unless there's a better way to count out five ounces of cream cheese, which there probably is, and I'm probably not thinking of it, but that's okay. So I'm gonna add my three ounces of cream cheese, my one tablespoon of low sodium taco seasoning, and my two teaspoons of Hidden Valley Ranch mix, along with my two cans of Rotel tomatoes to my crock pot. Um, doesn't say anything about turning it on just yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then when the meat's ready, we'll combine them, so. Let me do that first.
almost done browning, so as soon as that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and drain the grease from it and then throw it into the crock pot. Okay, I've drained my grease. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this into my crock pot. My two pounds worth. I'm gonna give this a good stir. Ooh, I'm gonna give this a good stir to combine everything. And this already looks good. So good thing Robbie's not in here though. No, it's in it because it's a lot of cheese. Too much cheese for his liking. That's okay. Okay, so now that you can see it's getting kind of creamy. Mmm, that looks so good. I cannot wait to eat this. We're eating it tonight. Okay, now I'm gonna add my four cups of chicken broth in over this. Okay, I'm gonna put the lid on this. And you can either cook this on high for two hours or on low for four hours. We're eating in two, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on high for two hours. Now, unfortunately, mine doesn't do two hours, so I'm just going to set a timer on my phone to tell me to come check this thing in two hours. Okay, so now that my soup has been cooking on high for two hours, Smells really good, everything, all the cheese, Robbie, has melted, but everything looks good. Now, this recipe actually only makes one green, so you would actually need two extra green per serving. So in order to kind of counteract that, I went ahead and threw in some bell pepper. Um, I don't know if I added in exactly two more greens per servings worth. I tried to do that, but I just added in some bell peppers. Do whatever you'd like. If you'd like to have a side salad or have some other green on the side, that's totally fine too. So the last thing that you're gonna wanna do before you actually serve this up is you're going to take three-fourths of a cup of your low-fat plain Greek yogurt, put it into your crock pot, and then you're just gonna stir it in until it's melted and mixed. Okay, so this may actually take a couple minutes for it to melt all the way, so I'm gonna put the top back on and let this steam up. And then, this actually makes five servings. Okay, so this recipe, like I said, makes five servings. Each serving is one lean, one green, three condiments, and one healthy fat. Thank you so much, Sandy, for making this wonderful recipe and for allowing me to use it for meals in the making. What you're gonna do after the Greek yogurt has melted and mixed in with all the other good stuff, you're gonna go ahead and plate it up, or bowl it up, I guess you could say, five servings worth, and then you're gonna garnish on top with about two tablespoons of cheddar cheese, if you want. I know this guy probably won't be doing that. It's totally fine. And then also, you can add on cilantro. Like I said, I'm one of those really weird people because of my jeans, it tastes like soap to me. So I won't be doing that, but I'm sure that a lot of people love to do that. So you're actually gonna add in five tablespoons or one tablespoon per serving. Like I said, one lean, one green, three condiments, and one healthy fat. Enjoy, and enjoy the cool weather if you're in Texas. Good morning, everyone. It's about 7.10 on a Wednesday morning. I'm about to put the roast in the crock pot. He's ready for his breakfast. So I wanted to show you how I do this for the second meal for Meals in the Making, but first let me show you what you need for this roast. For this recipe, you will need any kind of roast. I'm using a beef chuck shoulder roast. Mine is about three pounds, and I know it's gonna cook down to about two and a half pounds. Two tablespoons of a brown gravy packet, one eight ounce Italian salad dressing packet, four teaspoons of a ranch dressing mix, and also you'll need three fourths a cup of water. That's it. So I'm gonna start out this recipe by putting my roast into the bottom of this crock pot. I love this recipe because it's so super simple and it makes a lot of food. So this is something that Robbie and I will be eating on probably until Sunday, which is great. It also works if you have a big family. It's gonna make eight servings, you guys. If you have not so big of a family and you don't want as many leftovers, you can definitely size this down. If you have like maybe a one and a half pound roast that's only going to cook down, you can, you know, use half of all the ingredients and that will work too. 
So I'm gonna put this roast into the crock pot. Don't worry if it doesn't fit all the way, it will cook down and then, there we go. Do the best you can. Then in a bowl, I'm gonna add in my water. And I'm actually gonna start with about half of a cup. I'm going to add my entire Italian salad dressing mix. Remember that's an eight ounce packet. One ounce of this equals one condiment. Then I'm gonna add my two tablespoons of my brown gravy mix. And then I'll add my four teaspoons of ranch dressing mix. I'm gonna give this a good whisk. Some of you may have made this recipe before. My mom gave me this recipe a long time ago, except she uses the whole packet. So it's something that I love and then I wanted to be able to make when it got cool. So I just had to find a way to make it program approved. And that's just to simply add a little less of everything. Okay, so it's still kind of thick. Let me add just a little bit more water. Perfect. Then I'm simply gonna take my bowl of dressing mixes and brown gravy mix and I'm gonna pour it over my roast. I'm then gonna set this on low for eight hours. And then once this hits the eight hour mark, mine will go to warm. I'll be home in about nine hours and this should be cooked down, super tender, very juicy, and super delicious. And that is all it takes for this recipe, y'all. So I'll see you in about nine hours. So as you can see, Robbie has already cut all the way into this and kind of divvied it up for us. But what you're gonna do is get five ounces of this per serving. So this is eight servings. It's a lot. We're definitely gonna be having this for lunches and dinners for a while. Robbie may take some to work, but it is eight servings, five ounces a serving, and each serving is one lean and three condiments. So you don't need a healthy fat with this. You will need to add three green. Hope you all enjoy and hope you all have a wonderful week.